G'day guys, welcome along to another MRE review. Now this time we've got menu number 17, Sloppy Joe. This is a genuine US military MRE and packaged by the Warnock Company. Now there's no date codes on this one, either stamped or printed. So we'll crack into it and see just what we've got. <laughs> now, I did make a promise to one of my subscribers actually on, on a comment, probably foolishly, uh, that the next peelable seal that I was to tackle was to be a one shot, no camera tricks, all in one go. So here we here we go. Come on, work. Oh yes! <laughs> Success. Notes, no editing. All right, let's see what we've got. We have our fudge brownie. Now, I haven't had one of these before. It's 320 calories, which uh, <laughs> seems an awful lot for something this small. I guess that means it's tasty. We have a nut raisin mix. 310 calories. Cheese spread with jalapenos. Awesome. Feels quite uh, firm this one. The Amari spoon. Oh wow. Wheat snack bread. Um, of all the Amari reviews I've done, I still haven't come across one with a, a wheat snack bread. And uh, I've been really looking forward to it. I bet I won't be saying that afterwards. <laughs> That's 180 calories. Gee, it feels firm. We have our carb electrolyte beverage powder. Grape flavor. Our entree, Sloppy Joe filling. Seasoned sauce with beef. 250 calories. Mm. Our beverage bag. And our flameless ration heater. So we'll have to get a rock or something. Accessory pack. Um, one thing I suppose we didn't cover here, skipped on over, was the age of this thing. So we got the 264th day of 2010. That's four years oldish. In the accessory pack, we have Taster's Choice coffee, cinnamon chiclets gum, toilet paper. MRE matches. Oh, a sachet of Tabasco sauce. Great. Non dairy creamer. Salt. And artificial sweetener. So, what are we missing from here? Oh, we got salt. Hmm, real sugar. I guess it's missing. Interesting. So let's get this show on the road with our rock or something. Now I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, and that is make up the coffee and heat up the coffee uh, inside of the hot beverage bag here and the FRH. So, first thing we want to do is whip off the top of the FRH. All right, there we go. And heating elements inside. Open up our sloppy Joe. I say sloppy Joe like I know what it means, but um, I can uh, hand on heart say I've never had a sloppy Joe, and I don't really know what one, what one is supposed to be. Uh, we have a wheat snack bread, so you know, I'm guessing you're just going to pour it on top of that, whatever it is. It feels very runny. Nothing too solid in there. Now for the coffee, um, yeah, we need six ounces, which will be up to the bottom line of the hot beverage bag. Mm -hmm. 
about there. Pour in our coffee. Artificial sweetener, Splendor. And the non-dairy creamer. Oh, I can smell that coffee even though it's, it's a pretty unappealing cold water mix at the moment. Okay, we've got everything in there. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> Take a lot of the air out. Seal up the bag. Give it a shake. There we go. We'll take out the heating element as well. In with the coffee first, because it's the most awkward thing to deal with. Laying the coffee flat makes it a lot easier to, to mess with. And we'll slide our entree in just over the top of that uh, heating element now. Fiddly, I'll give it that. I'll slide everything up just above the the lines. Make sure it's happy. And pour water water in just up to that fill line. There we go. Slide everything down. Fold over the edge. And just give it a little bit of a horizontal uh, swish around. The okay, bag's already puffing up quite considerably. Starting to make some noise. So we'll try and stuff it all back into the box. up against the rock or something for about 15 minutes and cross fingers. Uh, while that's heating up, let's check out what else we've got. Now, since we've put the hot beverage bag into service for the coffee, we're just going to have to mix our carb electrolyte beverage powder straight in a glass. Ah, that uh, artificial grape flavour. <laughs> Just reminds me of um, Hubba Bubba bubble gum. Get our trusty spoon. Actually, I've done this backwards. I should have put the water in first, but it's okay. We'll be able to give it a a good stir with the spoon. We've got our nut raisin mix. Not vacuum sealed, and this is four years old, so we'll see how it's fared. Oops. It just has an oxygen absorber in there. And the nut mix, we've got peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, filberts, and cosine, whatever that is. Looks like a good mix. Give it a try. Yeah, everything tastes fresh in there. It's pretty good. I was expecting, uh, well, I wasn't expecting too much actually, considering it wasn't vacuum packed like other ones I've had. So, a good start. Ta da! The wheat snack bread. May seem funny to some of you, but I've been waiting for this moment for a while. Ooh. <gasps> there it is! Yeah, oxygen absorber down there. Good. 
Now, what do I think of a wheat snack bread? First impressions. It's... Looks like a piece of toy bread. Oops. <laughs> it's very dense feeling. Um, yeah, very, very dense. Um, yeah, it's got a it's got a weird little cartoony sort of bread shape going on. And looking at it closely, yeah, a few little flecks of bits and pieces. I guess that's where the wheat aspect of it uh, comes from. It almost looks like you could separate two halves here, but no, it's definitely not going to come across, come apart without being destroyed. Uh, the smell test. Ooh. Ah, okay. Hmm. It smells very yeasty, actually. Um, got a bit of a, a funky, yeasty, beery type smell to it. Interesting. What are we going to do with that? Next up, we have our heavy hitting 320 calorie fudge brownie. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Everything's falling apart on me. Some more in there. Yeah. The fudge brownie. Yep, so uh, consistency just sort of falls apart. That's fine. Brownie ish. Um, the inside looks looks a little on the dry side actually. The whole thing looks a bit on the dry side. Uh, smell. <laughs> um, it doesn't smell as appetizing as I thought it would. You can smell cocoa. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell, smell sweet like chocolate. It smells like um, you know, like that uh, high percentage cocoa chocolate, the the bitter stuff. That's what it smells like. I'll give it a try. And know there's some weird flavours going on there. I'm not sure if that's how it's meant to smell, or smell and taste like, or you know whether four years have taken its toll. Hmm. It's been an interesting one so far. So lastly, before the main event, we've got the cheese spread with jalapenos. Not quite sure. I'm assuming. This is meant for the wheat snack bed spread. So the sloppy joe must stand on its own two feet, I guess. I might just put a little bit of this on the wheat snack bread just in case I have to put the wheat snack bread into service for the sloppy joe. Oh, it's quite solid this one. <laughs> Nothing sticks to this wheat snack bread, this alien bread-like substance. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, cheese looks okay. I've said it in past videos that it always comes out different, depending on how the MRE has been stored, how old it is, etc. But at the end of the day, they generally end up smelling and tasting the same. Give it a quick sniff. Yep, that smells normal. Um, let's give it a little try. First time with a wheat snack bread. Hmm. Let's try a bit of this wheat snack bread by itself, actually. Hmm. It's all right. It's hard to it's hard to know what to com to compare it to. It's it doesn't taste like bread. Per se, um, probably tastes more like you've taken a, a bunch of tortillas and folded them over on each other and just took a bite out of that. Sort of. Let's have a sip of the grape carb electrolyte beverage. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's like bubble gum in a glass. Okay, our Sloppy Joe filling, and coffee has been heating up for about 15 minutes now. Let's see what we've got. 
Where's the coffee? Ow! Yep, yeah, it's hot. Okay. Oh yeah, that feels nice and hot. Too hot to touch, really. There we go. Let's give that a try. Oh, that's really good. Just as hot as you'd make it for yourself at home using a normal kettle, so pretty impressed with that. Sloppy Joe, whoever he is. Give it a mix around, just to mix some of that heat through. They don't uh, really heat evenly, so a necessary step. You can hear that FRH still kicking out quite a bit of sound. Good amount of heat left in there. Alright, sloppy joe time. Got the uh, little notches at the sides here so we can open it along the big end. And that would be handy if you're out in the field wanting to eat it straight from the pouch. Okay, so this is a sloppy joe, huh? Let's give it a whiff. Hmm. It uh, reminds me a lot of the chili with beans. In both smell and look. Alright, so what it looks like we got here is uh, little bits of meat or mince and this thick gravy um, sort of Mexican Mexican smelling I almost thought I saw a little bit of uh, noodle in there looks like we've got red peppers green peppers uh, maybe onion it's pretty hard to tell when everything's this uniform brown color but the real test will be in the taste. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's nice. It's very, very similar to the uh, chili with beans, I'd say. Um, it's possibly because I don't know exactly what a sloppy joe should be like or what you should put it in. Uh, I might be missing it slightly here. I will try a bit on the sweet snack bread, though. Be rude not to. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a bit of Tabasco. Yeah, that's really nice with a bit of Tabasco in it. All right, guys. Well, that was. Menu number 17, Sloppy Joe, from 2010. Um, it's not one of my favourites. It has been interesting to try the wheat snack bread for the first time, for sure. And uh, this fudge brownie, it was a new one as well. And the, uh, the nut raisin mix. Um, yeah, it's not one I'd, I'd rush out and, and look for, but... It's, for what it is, it's tasty, and I think over all of these MRE reviews, I'm probably getting a bit fussy, actually. So, it's it's a good meal, let's say that. So, let's see what the boss thinks. Alright, sweetie, ready for some more soldier food? Yes, I want this first. Okay, go for it. That's Sloppy Joe. I know. Do you know who Joe is? Who's Joe? Um, the person who sends the stuff to you. <laughs> mm, yeah, okay. What do you think? Yummy. More and more. More and more. Do you want to try some of the things in front? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got the wheat, wheat bread with cheese bread. Okay, straight for the brownie. What do you think? 
Yummy. Yeah, I thought so. Don't eat all of that. Okay, you want to try some of the nuts and raisins? Thoughts? Thumbs up? <laughs> okay, wheat snack bread. Daddy only tried that for the first time today. And you got cheese spread. Yummy? <laughs> hey, that's too much. Mm. Alright, try and say thanks for watching now. No, don't. <laughs> Bye everyone.